Hello everyone and welcome to another timeless video. So today we're going to be taking a look at a creature combo deck that is incorporating two different combos in a single deck. Basically what this deck is trying to do is you have one part of the combo using Amalia and Wild Growth Walker. When you gain life, Amalia explores and when Amalia explores, Wild Growth Walker gives you three life and then repeat that process until Amalia reaches exactly 20 power and then it's going to wipe the board and the Amalia ability is going to trigger one last time and it's going to deal 21 damage total. The other part of the combo in this deck is with Samwise Gamgee and Cauldron Familiar. Basically, Samwise Gamgee is going to create a food token every time Cauldron Familiar comes onto the battlefield and Bertolome is going to sacrifice the Cauldron Familiar into putting it into the graveyard but because Cauldron Familiar coming back onto the battlefield constantly creates a food token so now you have an infinite you can keep sacrificing the Cauldron Familiar and it's going to deal infinite damage. But what's really cool about this is that the Samai's Gamgee can get back an Amalia as well. So there's some recursion here. Samai's Gamgee can get back Bertolome or Amalia in this deck. So even if one part of the combo fails, you can get back some pieces from the graveyard on the battlefield. And that way it's easier to find the missing combo pieces with Court of Calling. But there is also another card that we're playing, which is a breakout. So not only the Court of Calling is trying to search for the right cards, but because it has Breakout, looking for that combo piece is going to be a lot easier than what it used to be. But I do fear that if this deck does get hit by the Blood Moon, I don't know how it survives because it is playing a four color deck. So having said that, we're going to be hopping over to some Timeless Best of 3 to show you guys how the deck does. So let's hop on over. Number 9. My opponent's number 9. I think this might be a zoo deck. So we go with the uh, green, and, green and black. With the... Um, with this fetch land and we should be able to play everything. Kellen is interesting. In this deck. But I think it's supposed to be in the deck instead. To be fetched at opponent's end step. So that this can attack. Once it comes down. I'm pretty sure that is... That would be the idea. Okay, so create X map tokens where X is 1 plus the number of opponents who control an artifact. So that's probably going to be irrelevant. Um, I'll just play a Juggernaut. Oh, it's a Winota deck. I see. Okay. Good thing we had a Juggernaut there. Also, good thing Jarena's... Jarena's kind of annoying, actually, because it does give Indestructible to everything. Amalia's combo is going to be not that good. <laughs> okay. Let's play this out. I did it backwards, but that's okay. Yeah, I, I did it backwards, but it shouldn't matter too much. Whoops. You're supposed to play the Samwise Gamgee first so that once uh, when you play a creature, you get a food token. That's pretty annoying. Uh, they found a three, three creatures, so I can't attack with the uh, Kellen too much. This Jarena is pretty annoying. So currently we're looking for Port of Calling, uh, Demonic Tutor. I could also attack with a Kellen if I draw into a Return to Ranks. Breakout. 
Okay. So I'll draw a card. Ooh. All red. See what we get. Another juggernaut. Then we pass. Ooh, we got a cat. So, I guess we play the Wild Growth Walker. And we Court of Calling on a Pwn's turn. And get an Amalia. Just take the damage. Humans you control gain hexproof and indestructible until the end of the turn. Okay, so they play the Juggernaut. And we're going to force them to block. We're gonna force them to crack the Jirina here. Get an Amalia. I'm gonna try to look for a land. Yeah, we got the lands. Now what are we looking for? I guess another breakout would be kind of sick. Actually, let's look for a return to ranks. So because we're going to be um, getting rid of all the um, non-humans with the Juggernauts, even if they top deck a Winota here, it's not going to do anything. Uh, maybe I should have actually kept the Deathrite Shaman. Also, I should have attacked with the Kellen first. Yeah, let's just top deck a Court of Calling. Call it a day. Huh. So, funny thing is. Now, they lost because they did that. Yeah, they lost because uh, they cracked the Jirina. GG's. Boom.
Okay. Um, let's play four swords. <laughs> yeah, I think that's it, right? So return to ranks out. I think Kellen out. Hard to attack against their deck. Although Demonic Tutor is nice. It might be a tempo loss against a creature deck. And the last card, I think I just want to take out Sino Scouts. Hmm. If I can... Okay, I'm going to keep this one. Because if they can just crack one land, right? That means Deathrite Shaman becomes online. That means I can go Deathrite Shaman into Sino Scouts. Which is pretty good. Looks like a Bowmaster, maybe? Okay... Looks like a Swords, actually. Yeah, it looks like opponent has swords. So we need a white black. We already have a white and black. So we can go green. I really want to grab stomping ground, but I don't think I can. Man, this sucks, right? This sucks. I can't go Stomping Ground because I, I need to be able to cast Amalia. Um, let's just go... Tomb. Samwise Gamgee. Um, I think opponent's dead. They're stuck on lands. We have double swords and that right shaman's dealing two damage. Twice? One more time, actually. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so they're not dead yet. Almost dead. Let's look at their hand. So many three drops. Yeah, uh, unfortunate. Sometimes it'd be like that. Uh, you draw your only forest because Blood Moon exists in this format. You know, it is what it is. Um, I think that's a mulligan. Another one lander. We have the combo pieces, so maybe. If we can just curve it out, we might just win the game. A land was on top. It's unfortunate. Nope. <laughs> Darn, if I didn't crack it, I should- Oh man, maybe I shouldn't have cracked it. And we're playing against a blue-white control deck. 
That's another... Hmm... What if I didn't crack it? I guess there'd be more lands in the deck. But this gives me... Ah, man. That's just unfortunate. Let's not show them the deck. Um, it seems like I'm playing against maybe a Bant control deck. Probably, right? We'll just bring in some Thalias. That's it. I'll just go down on like Samai's Gamgee and a Cauldron Familiar. Okay. Some. Um, let's go with the Death Rise Shaman first. Even if it gets killed, we can do C Note Scout into C Note Scout. Or maybe I just go Walker first. And maybe I go Walker first because we can do double C Notes. We need lands right now, right? Double C note wasn't enough. I see. Okay, I think uh I think it's time to pack it up. Super unfortunate. We drew a forest into double juggernauts and then we drew a breakout so we can't play the game even though we um we kept a hand with the uh, double c notes i thought that was gonna be enough to get us there obviously not Honestly, that's really the problem with this deck is that it has such a like a big problem with the mana base, right? Because it, it's playing a four color deck. Yeah, I think this game is over. Break out. Shock and pass. Well... Um, there's multiple things this could be. Um, if it's, um, a bolt, then I have to play the Cauldron Familiar, but if it's a Stifle, Xenol Scouts, I think, a little bit better. So, I'm doing this instead. There's a good chance it's just, um, it might just be a bolt, though. Uh, 
Okay, it's a stifle. Darn. That sucks. It's not? Hmm. Stubborn denial. Hmm. So it's, it's a death shadow deck? I don't think I'm going to be able to win with the Amalia combo this game. I think it has to be exactly Samurai's Gamgee combo. Hmm. I mean, maybe. Perhaps. We're just missing too many combo pieces at the moment. Should I attack? I feel like I need to like time it. Also baiting out all these fatal pushes is also very good. Deathrite Shaman is a very good card versus this, um, the Shadow. Let's break out. See what we get first before we quarter calling. Okay, so I'm gonna quarter calling here and just kind of pass a turn. I also need to play around this uh, stubborn denial. Another drown. That's pretty annoying. Maybe I should just attack. Yeah, I think I'm gonna start attacking. I'm gonna get a Samus Gamgee. I think I'm just gonna start attacking. Because I have a Cauldron Familiar now. Another one. I can't believe we have a we we don't have a, a additional um black mana. Okay, so teamer battle rage. I could eat Walker. Now it becomes a 2-2. Two -two. Right. 
Ragavan. Okay, they're dead. Okay, next. Next. Drown's pretty annoying. How much do they play with the, their graveyard? I mean, they have a Loris. Maybe I should have one. And we have a four swords. That's going to be so good against them. Um, I'm going to have one... Haywire Mites, and I'm gonna take out a Demonic Tutor, take out a Wild Growth Walker. I think I'm gonna actually take out some Amalias as well. I, I don't think this is the match where Amalia is good. I think Samai's Yamji combo is, is a lot better compared to the Wild Growth Walker combo. Let's also go down on a copy of a C Note Scouts and a copy of Cauldron Familiar. Hmm. Probably a mole again. No one drops. I think I'll put the Jarena in the... Actually... Maybe I go like this. So I don't have to worry about the red mana. And we go Jarena into Kellen. Drawing another Court of Calling was really bad, by the way. That was actually so bad. Especially not with this hand. We don't have any, like, one drops. So bad. So, so, so bad. Oh my god. What's going on? Amalia? I need lands or one drops, basically. Yeah, I need a one drop or... Actually, Source could be nice as well. Wow, a Ragavan. Yeah, Source could be nice as well. Stubborn Denial, we don't care about. Ragavan just trades with our creature, right? Well, certainly, like, this isn't good. This is not a good... Wow, they... Took a lot of damage from that. Can I get a Swords? Actually, Swords doesn't even do it because of the Stubborn Denial. <laughs> you fool! Imagine not keeping up Stubborn Denial. Would not be me. I mean, they do have a castle, which is like so bad. Honestly, I feel like 
I am I am definitely feeling the effects of the stifle of this game. Might have one more land here. That means if I draw another land, I could go like creature into a creature, but I can't. Also, I just realized opponent doesn't have they don't have a Loris. What happened to their Loris? Fine. Man. They top deck the Scourge? That's not good. That's not good. At least the uh, color familiar is a good chump blocker. That is so risky what they're doing. Okay, next game. Maybe they had a Bowmaster, so that's why they were confident. Honestly, I think we just go again. Nice. So we have a red land, um, we have a, a green land here. So we fetch this immediately. And grab a temple garden. Play the death right shaman. And pass. Okay, so it looks like it's another like potential stifle. I love Samwise Gamgee with the Cauldron Familiar, it's just so good. It is so good. So I kind of smell a Bowmaster. Also we have found the... we have found the wind condition. Let's actually not attack. Okay, so they don't have a Bowmaster? Let's... Fetch the Bloodstained Mire. Grab a Godless Shrine. I need my opponent to tap out. Doesn't seem like they will though. Okay, we won. Thank God. Thank God. Blue white. I doubt it's a blue white control deck. I just, I highly doubt it. Okay, that's right, Shaman. So we don't want to crack right now. Mm. 
Yes, I'll go Juggernaut this turn so I can go Amalia into Cauldron Familiar. Stifle. It's a Stifle. Oh, it's a Swords. It's a Stifle and a Swords. Binding is also pretty annoying, but I have to get rid of that. Ooh, Kellen. So how do I bait out... I could just go Amalia into a Cauldron Familiar so that I can explore. I don't think I want that. So, because I'd rather keep this Kellen, so that we can keep drawing cards, right? Ooh, Breakout. I can't actually cast Breakout. Hmm, because they have a Stifle. So, this is an artifact, so it's going to create... Some map tokens. Pretty nice. Pretty good synergy with the uh, Juggernaut Peddlers. That is nice. And we'll just take the damage here. Should I bait out their stifle now? Let's see. A court of calling. Actually, that doesn't do anything. What am I doing? I should have attacked first. Wait, what? I'll play the semi scamji. So whenever this attacks, reveal the top card of your deck. If it's a creature card. Oh, it says you may put it into the graveyard. Okay, so... My first time playing with Kellen, by the way. Wild Growth Walker. Another one. Doors. Okay. Um. Let's just attack. I don't think I'm gonna be blocking with the semi Genji anyways. A juggernaut. A binding. Is 
I mean, I guess I have to double block now. Otherwise, I'm gonna die. Oh, I'm already dead. Okay, you win, I give up. <laughs> I know I could have lived, but I I'm just gonna die to the Death Ray Shaman. I don't I don't have any answers to the Death Ray Shaman's main deck, so I think we just uh have Haywire Mites for the bindings and color day. I think the big problem that last game was uh, I didn't have a Death Ray Shaman myself. Take out two C Note Scouts. Call it a day. They had so many swords and bindings. How, how, how many was that? Like three swords and two bindings? It was pretty annoying. Pretty annoying. Fetching now to play around, um, play around Stifle. I could go Kellen or Death Ray Shaman. I think I go Kellen. They have another swords. They have another swords. Okay, it's a brainstorm. Um take action. We don't need that. Okay, it was a Lauren revealed. It was a Lauren revealed. Okay. Fine enough. Oh yeah, we could play Thalia's. I didn't even think about that. So we have Thalia and Juggernaut Peddlers. Hmm. I like the return to ranks in this matchup. Kellen's been good. Maybe one less Wild Growth Walker. One less Cauldron Familiar. Hmm. I do have the shamans, but not much really going on here. Other than the shaman. I do have three lands. Sure, why not? We just gotta be careful of sty uh, stifles. So they're missing green source. We gotta be careful of stifle. Seems like they have it, right? Seems like they have it. I guess we could just bait out a Stifle. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. Opponent's probably gonna board wipe next turn and I'll return to ranks and I'll use this. They're going to have to tap out next turn for Supreme Verdict, and I'll use this to Surveil.
they pass. Okay. You got me. Stifle me. Do you have another one, though? Okay, so let's go with Stomping Ground. Into a breakout. Probably a counter spell coming. No. So they do have a Supreme Verdict. Uh, I'm actually surprised they still haven't used a temporary lockdown on me. Let's get rid of a temporary lockdown. I'm actually very glad that they decided not to use a temporary lockdown. But they have a lot of removal spells. Which are all exile spells by the way. <laughs> Okay, um, Demonic Tutor, another great card. I think we just attack all right. So I just that right shaman twice. I guess they can just... Supreme Verdict though. Hmm... What should I do? Like, I know I can win if I Cauldron Familiar. I, I guess it's, we can just attack with, um, with these guys. Let's just get a Breakout. And we'll just... Um, Death Rite Shaman and then Breakout into Lethal. On bindings. That's what I kind of expected. Let's break out Dahlia. Because I don't think Amalia would do anything. Yeah, I don't think Amalia would have done anything. Yeah, uh, this was um pretty poorly played by me. Um, I learned actually a lot about the deck. Okay, um, so in the middle of the way, I changed the sideboard so that um we have a copy of a Jarena to grab against the deck that wants to abuse the graveyard a little bit. Um, with the Court of Calling. So that's the only change that I made. I think the deck is decent. I think the deck is decent. But I don't think the deck is there. Like it's it's okay. But to compete with like the top tier decks. Maybe against like a show and tell. If you get an early like Juggernaut Peddlers. And they can't find the combo pieces. And you sideboard in Thalias and Rolling Vortexes. Like you might be fine. But um, against like Jun mid range. I think this deck is actually going to have some problems. Especially if a opponent has um a bunch of blood moons i think against the blood moon i don't know if this deck has any chance honestly so although the deck can do degenerate stuff but it is also very easy easy to interrupt amalia combo very easy to get rid of just kill the amalia um samai's gamji combo get rid of samai's gamji if opponent has a bunch of removal spells and 
and like you get stuck on lands and you draw a bunch of court of callings that happened in one game right you draw a bunch of court of callings and you don't have any creatures because um you got stifled early game and none of the creatures really stick then you're gonna have a bad time you're gonna have a bad time but i will say the breakout has been pretty cool uh the deck has a lot of tutor spells demonic tutor breakout court of callings and then you finish it with the uh, return to ranks. I'm not even sure if return to ranks is actually relevant when you have a Loris. But sometimes this can also win you the game as well. So yeah, um, pretty cool deck. But along with something like uh, Blood Moons in the format. And there's also other fast combo decks as well. And the fact that this deck is easily interruptible with removal spells. It doesn't feel as powerful as some of the stuff that you can do in this, in this format. Especially when considering something like an Oko could come out on turn 2 as well. So all the creatures that you play just get stolen or become elked. But yeah, that's that was a deck. It was decent. Um, if you're into creature combo decks, try it out. And having said that, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.